Okay, so before the kids get home, um, they went to church. Um, ooh, mm -hmm. Anyway, um, I wanted to give a little bit of an update on like the whole school situation um, because I had contacted the school board and <laughs> I just got an email from someone in the school board who I hadn't even heard about. Ooh, it's not on my camera. Um, hadn't even heard from before. Uh, the first two emails I got basically were saying they were going to investigate the school and they get back to me. And it's been, what, like a month now? And I just heard from somebody going, we want to know if you want to come in and have a meeting with the principal and the student support team leader. First of all, I can tell you guys right now that <laughs> the principal knows nothing because she sits on her butt every day and, like, is in her office or somewhere else, like, she has been one of the worst principals ever at the school. Lion, like, the other two principals they've had, um, the last one, he was outside every day. He knew every kid by name. He knew the parent, if the parent dropped them off, or if the parent visited the school, or whatever. He knew you. He knew you. He was always outside every day, every morning, crossing the kids. If the uh, crossing guard wasn't there, uh, he was wonderful. And the other principal, um, she was outside every day too. She knew the majority of the kids. I'm not saying she knew everybody, but she knew, like, she just made herself present. And what we have now, <clears throat> I'm sorry, like, my voice is like, um, the one we have now, she was there for four months before I even knew who she was. Like, when you just sit there every morning and you don't say, hey, I'm Dr. So-and-so, I'm the principal here. You know, it just, it's nuts. It's nuts. Um, and quite frankly, we all know the issue uh, issues I have with the student support team leader. Um, hello, you didn't do your job right. And I just had this gut feeling like they're going to be like, it's all Mackenzie's fault. Da 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 da. Um, but they were like, we want to know if you, you know, if you would be interested in bringing her back to the school and whatnot. I just sent an email saying, no. The doctors don't want her there because they believe it caused her anxiety and her depression. She's not stepping foot in the school. And I told him in this email, because it was a guy who emailed me, I was like, if you need another piece of paper saying that she's being homeschooled, you tell me which one it is because the state told me that I was fine. So... You guys asking me for where she's transferring to and all that other stuff, like, no. Like, just tell me what you need so this is all honky-dory and we ain't got to worry about this. By the way, Mackenzie is doing fabulous. Um, so far, we have all, we actually, I think, may have all A's. We're still working on finishing some of the stuff from quarter one because, well, A, I didn't get a report card for her from the school, and we're just gonna, we're just gonna finish quarter one, um, we're just kind of, like, doing the tests and kind of, like, reviewing, um, but yeah, so, finishing up, but she's doing superb. I will share her grades in, like, another video, um, uh, I will say this, I was so impressed with her because... Whereas once she would get really, like, she wouldn't even do the work on the test. She sits there with me. If it's an online test, I sit there with her just because we're we're getting used to it. I don't give her the answers, guys. I sit there with her. And I make sure that, like, she's figuring out the problem. And, uh, and then I keep track of the answers because you have to go back and fill them in on a, like, separate little chart thing so I just I keep track of them and as we are progressing she's learning how to do that by herself so I want to make sure until she gets the hang of it that she's okay with it um, and some of the tests aren't the same like some of them are multiple choice and some of them you fill in the answer and then the school goes back and grades it that way like uh, her reading test that we did recently we had to go through the book and get all the answers and then the school took time to grade it. So she got a 98 on that. I want to know. I have to look and see what we lost points on. And I say we because, I, you know, um, I'm not doing the work, but I will just kind of supervise. So I'm, I'm curious to know what, 
before I got two points with. All right, so I'm gonna get back to dinner. I just wanted to give you that little bit of an update on the whole like situation, whether or not I go through with meeting with the principal and the student support team leader. I don't know. Like no one in in the school has actually said anything to me. Like if I go in, they're asking. Um, how Mackenzie is, although the student support team leader has not spoken to me since I called her out on those letters to the school board. Um, so yeah, I'll talk to you a little bit.